best tell I'm going to hear today. Hello for the second time, this time live. <laughs> We're the three Chris's. Hey. Hey. That don't sound so enthusiastic. <laughs> it's wonderful. And we're going to be showing you how to untangle your canopy and also how to pick it up properly. Um, we're going to start with Snelly over here. All right, so what I'm going to do on this first canopy is take you through uh, a normal control check just to make sure that everything is good and ready to pack. So what we want to do is come down to the risers, make sure they're laying flat. I'm going to pick up our brake line and our rear riser, make sure there's no twist. I'm going to pick up our front riser, separate it out between your fingers. Make sure there's no twists. Pick it up. Whoop, right in your face there. Down to the canopy. All right, I've got no twists below the slider. Awesome, nothing there, no twists. All right, one little extra thing that I do is actually make sure that below the slider, my brake lines are clear. They're not wrapped around anything. So I check that on both sides. Brakes are clear. And then I'm also going to make sure that my brakes aren't caught up around anything looking down the canopy. I'm going to check my rear riser, make sure nothing's twisted. And then I've got my fronts. So that's all good to go. Bloody good, mate. So next, we're going to go over to Brookie. And he's going to show you when we do have a problem. Yay! So I'm going to do exactly the same as Snally ran you through. Uh, my personal preference is I like to kind of set the yokes closer together. Again, making sure that the rise is flat. And then I'll pick it up in an exactly the same way and run my hands this way. So you can see that everything's clear from here on in. I run my hands all the way down to the slider. Now, something doesn't quite look right yet. But as Snally did, what I do is I can pick it up, even though we can see a problem, and I'll run my fingers through the brake lines and you can see we've got a twist so at this stage we can identify that above the slider our hands are all good but below the slider there's a problem so to rectify this what I do is I bring the slider down this away making a note of which way that the twist folds which is this way through the nose so I take the nose through itself and place it back down do a check to make sure I've gone the right way or the wrong way. Is it my Remember it's live, who knows Remember it's live. Has he done it? <laughs> no, he hasn't. No, he hasn't. So no, he has. I'll give you a hand. So there we go, as you can see. We run our hands through the brakes again. Pick up the brakes, you can see that's clear. And then the same on the other side. We see the brakes. Oh, hang on. I've got myself in a twist here. Is it a pickle? Is it a pickle? It is untwisted, I can assure you. So what you do now is, if you weren't sure, is you could just simply run your lines out and do the check again. Yup. Which I'm going to do. Live. Which you're going to do right now. This is awesome. I'll give you a hand. Yeah. <laughs> it is untwisted, he's just left the nose sitting on top of himself. There we go. And there He's got himself go. together. ta -da! Cool. Well, so there we go, then I'm going to put it back down on the floor. And she's ready to pack. Give yourself a Self high five, and now Snelly's going to show us another scenario on a canopy that's the exact same colours, per chance. Alright, so it's starting out exactly the same way as we've done the last two. I'm going to pick it up. But this time, as I run my fingers up, I notice that there's a uh, twist on my side of the, uh, of the slider. So this one's quite a common one. When you land, if the canopy goes back over your head the wrong way, this is quite a common scenario for you to uh, uh, encounter. Um, so the easiest way to do this one is definitely find a friend, but as Brookie did on the last one, I'm actually going to use a slider to help uh, figure this one out. So what we're going to do is we'll pick it up, and we'll run it all the way down this end, and then find a friend. Friend? Hey, friend. Here. You want to come pull the slider? <laughs> Number two. All right. So if you want to come around this side, I'll show you what we got going on here. All right, so we can see that we've got the twist below the slider on this one. So again, what I'm going to do is make sure that my, my risers are looking um, nice and flat. There's no twist in those. And then we're going to figure out which way we want to do it. So to me, it's looking like I need to flip it forwards. So what I'm going to do is physically pick the whole rig up, fold it over in front. 
level 8 in my rig back down. Oh. And so that's looking good to me. Just check both sides, make sure it looks like you've got the twist out. If for some reason you've now ended up with two twists, all you've done is gone the wrong way. So all you need to do, flip it back the other way twice, and then you should be looking at the same kind of scenario. But we'll never trust it. What we'll actually do is we'll just pick it up, do that same control check again, run it all the way down to the canopy. No twists on either side of the slider. All right, so these are a couple of the really basic common uh, step through or twists that you're going to find in your lines. Um, there's definitely more horrendously complicated ones, but we're not going to go into those ones today. Um, but what we are going to do is actually show you how to pick up your canopy properly after you've landed for a jump and bring it into the packing area. So we'll go back to canopy number one. So you've just landed. All right. From so your this sweet is jump. Pretty sweet. On your sweet rig. On this uh, world-class skydiving rig. Yeah, so there's... It is. Oh, South Africa, was it? Yeah, she's a bit gross, though. <laughs> Needs a wash. Needs a wash. All right, here we go. Getting sidetracked. So what you want to do is just bring your lines together. Just making nice loops, making sure you're not getting tangled. All the way down to the canopy. All right, with these nice small canopies, that's really all you need to do with the lines. What you can do is if you've got a slightly larger canopy on a bit of a windy day, you can just bring your, uh, your tail up, make sure it's not dragging on the ground. Dragons. But it also helps stop canopy inflating a little bit. And then we've got this part here, which is our D bag. So I can bring that up. And I just put it all the way up to the pilot chute. And just do that. That way you're not dragging anything on the floor. So you're gonna make your way into the packing tent or wherever you're packing, okay? And for those of you that are getting pack jobs, uh, this is a really good thing to remember. Um, and for you packers out there, Merry Christmas. But this is a way to basically put your canopy down nicely for your packer. All right, so you're gonna to wanna to drop your pilot chute and D-bag, lay your canopy down, stretch it all the way back. You're gonna drop your rig down on the floor. All right, obviously this one we've got the brakes set, but you wanna set your brakes, make sure they're not twisted. Also make sure that in your brake lines, if you've done quite a few jumps, you can actually just run the twist down, get the twists out, that'll help your brake lines last longer as well. All right, so canopies out, nice and neat. Canopies not in a heap and a mess on the floor. You wanna come down here, find your pilot chute and your D-bag, take all of those twists out. All the way, pop your pilot chute, check it works, and you're good to go. Also, so, you see one thing that he didn't mention, which you would have done anyway, is after you've landed for your packer, it's also nice that you run your canopy out yourself, just like we've been shown, uh -huh. um, because if you hit fine twists in it, your packer really doesn't want to spend half of their day undoing your messy picked up canopy. Yeah. So it's nice to run it out and make sure it's nice and tidy, and if it is twisted, you kind of have a little bit of knowledge now how to fix it for your packer. Definitely, uh, and like I say, boogie season uh, can be really busy for the packers. So any little bit that you can do to help those guys get your canopy and estate ready to pack, the more likely they are to pack your parachute before anyone else's. So if you're trying to get on every load, just doing this simple thing is definitely going to help towards that. And also, uh, I don't know, we've all been there, but uh, any gratuity for your packer is also much appreciated. I'm definitely going to get you a pack job probably faster than anyone else. Yeah, cool. Nice. Pretty much so it, guys. I guess like those were the basics, but you've got the building blocks now of how to unpack the most basic. And all you've got to do is like a puzzle. You've just got to work your way back if you've landed in a heap. So you'll be able to figure it out. Use a friend, and maybe a friendly packer might be able to help as well. Find a Chris. Find a Chris. When in doubt, find a Chris. <laughs> but that's it, guys. I hope that helped. Um, that's us for the year, pretty much. So. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year from all of us, and have a bloody good time. Get on the beersies. Like we will do tomorrow at staff party. See ya. See you later. Ciao.